Hello everyone, my name is Alok and right now I am pursuing my MSc PhD dual degree program in Energy Science and Engineering Department of IIT Bombay. And before that I did my graduation in Mathematics Honours from Banaras Hindu University. Uh, I passed this BSc Honours course from BHU in 2016. Then after I joined this MSc PhD dual degree program here in IIT Bombay. I worked uh, on lot of course project ranging from this life cycle analysis to experiments in atomic layer deposition. So I'll say I touched upon many of the things related to energy during my masters. If I talk about my area of work, it is basically belonging to this granular material field and to be point I'm working in in how to deal with this nanoparticle agglomerates, how to break nanoparticle agglomerates. It is in chemical engineering department in the postgraduate courses in IIT Bombay and to the core it actually belongs to the chemical engineering. What is its significance? Uh, I think particle is the thing which we find everywhere. From our kitchen to the industries to the pharmaceutical industries everywhere. In our kitchen, we deal with the sugar, salts, pulses, and all these things, granular things in our kitchen. We know how to deal with these things. Like we have learned from ourselves, in, like in how to work with these particles in our kitchen. During monsoon, we find that these salts and sugar sometimes getting clumsy or they are forming agglomerate kind of thing. And what we do to break is like we put we put spoon inside the this beaker in the jar and we break the agglomerates or we shake the shake this uh, shake the shake the jar to break the agglomerates. We know like we know from our practical from our co common senses we know how to deal with this particle. But we when we have to go into this industries where where we keep where we're dealing with the bulk things where we keep our things in silo where we need to do where we need to do dryness we need to dry our things from the fluidized bed where we need to convey our particles from one place to another using pneumatic conveying in that cases we actually need to know the perfect the the physics behind this granular and and i'll say like whatever we know about the fluid mechanics we know fluid mechanics very perfectly up to this time we know the Reynolds number to define a particular number like in which range the fluid will be turbulent in which in which in which range the fluid will be laminar but there is no such thing in uh, such thing in granular because if a if a quantity is valid for this kind of this kind of particle this subset of particle it is not true for the other kind of particles for example if this if I, this property is valid for this uh, 1 mm particle, it would not be valid for this micron size particle or ultra fine particles in the nano region. So, this particle thing is very, very much useful, and a lot of research is, is, is being done on this. And people are doing because this is the field which uh, we have to know a lot. We have to go a more deep into this field because this field is very much, very much into our daily life. But we do not know a lot about this as we know about the fluid max mechanics courses and other other courses other other physics if i say expected outcome what are the outcomes i'm going to get uh, it is actually my first year in phd so not much i have done uh, nothing majorly i found out but what i'm expecting at the end of the phd like we'll have a, a perfect a perfect physics to define how we can break how how the agglomerates are getting break by uh, by this vibration by this vibrofluidized kind of beds. What happened actually inside this vibration vibrofluidized bed? What happened to the particle? How energy is transmitted? All these things. I'm working upon that. If I talk about this, how is going to affect industry, academia, and research? So basically, to the uh, pharmaceutical ind industries where they deal a lot with this fine particle ultra fine particles so this will actually uh, give them a give them a new understanding of the the subject like how this vibration affect the agglomeration thing because 
uh, if they want to if any pharmaceutical industry or this cosmetic industry they want to improve upon their project on the on the final product they need to improve their this agglomeration of agglomeration of particle kind of thing they have to reduce down this agglomeration because this agglomeration if they have the more agglomeration the final product would not be that much perfect so they have to deal with the agglomeration and all the six it is not like they are not dealing they are dealing but but the physics behind this is not clear and once the physics is clear uh, the things would be much more better and perfect so my work would be something to push in this field and to to uh, will try to find out something new in this field Uh, I, I think this granular material field is very very vast and the, most of many of the people are working in this field and this field requires a lot of research uh, it is as I already told this is not very much clear as fluid makers so people are very much in this field and I think scope wise this is very much industry relevant so there would be a lot of scope this this field will this will have everything like modeling the DM modeling and Monte Carlo simulation modeling and all these things and in the experiment also we have fluidization, pneumatic conveying and other thing also in, in related to this granular material so this field is very appealing those new people those who wanted in this field they can and I think that won't be disappointing after the PhD like why, why did they join this field so uh, there's a lot to know in this field and a lot to work in this field. thanks a lot if any of you want to know further they can mail me or they can ping me on social media and uh, anywhere else thanks a lot